Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the cost constraint in Microsoft Project 2013. So let's move on. Now as the name suggests itself, it helps me to calculate the cost of a particular task or the cost of the entire budget. Now cost involves the assigning of resources. We, the cost will be only in the picture when there is particular resource assigned to a particular task. And a resource comes with a price. So basically we need to calculate what is the total budget of our project so that we can keep the track of our funding to our particular project. We will understand more about costing in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the costing of a particular project in Microsoft Project 2013. Now, before I start off, a costing is also associated with the resources I have assigned to a particular task. The reason being, every resource comes with a price and I need to calculate how much is the funding or how much is the money that is being involved in a particular project. So, before I start off with the costing, let me assign some resources to a particular event. Now, if you see, I have already assigned some resources to few of the projects or to few of the tasks. Now, let me add one more or two more resources. So, how I add resource, I will go to resource tab and I'll select assign resource deliveries. So, I will need test analyst. All right. And I will assign a quantity, say one and I click on assign. So, a test analysis has been assigned here and completion of phase let me assign a manager to it i'll go here i say i want one i assign right now if you see i have assigned few of the resources to my particular task now first before i move to the cost let me see what is the basic unit price for each resource now in order to see that i have to go to the resource sheet so where i can find the resource sheet i can go on the view view tab and I can click here on the resource sheet or if I click on this uh, on the Gantt chart if I go under the task tab and if I click on this Gantt chart view on on the drop down box I can find a resource sheet I'll click on this resource sheet so basically these are my resources and there are some rate which have been organized or, or which have been set by me for this particular resources so I have five dollars per hour seven dollars per hour six dollars and subsequent now let's move on and see how this is working how we calculate cost so we have the resources ready we have we have assigned the resources now let's move to cost so in order to get the cost of particular resources I will right click and get and introduce a cost column so I will right click on the duration and I say insert and I want to calculate the cost, right? I have the cost table ready with me. I click here and now I get the cost. So if you have seen that identify being the most important uh, task for this particular project life cycle, it says 189 days. So what it has done, it has taken the total cost of requirement gathering and uh, business analysis and gets the total for this product. Similarly, if I want to see for planning, it is the addition of all these um, resources and for execute it's 162. It has been, it has added all the resources, the costing for all the resources and it has made the total out here. Now all this execute planning and identify sum together and like it makes addition of their each other and it gives me the total cost for the project life cycle now so project life cycle will involve addition of identify planning and execute so it is the total of all these three sub tasks so with the help of this i can actually get the budget of my entire project and i can work accordingly and assign the resources accordingly